that we have a real challenge. Forgetting politics, forgetting partisanship, this is patriotism for our country. We're up to four million people in a matter of just over two weeks from the three million mark. We have to act, and, and what they're proposing falls far short. But you can't get a bigger deal. Are you open to temporarily extending those benefits for people? Yeah. We offered this legislation. We thought they would counter with something that was at least reconcilable. But this doesn't reconcile with the needs of the American people. It is another example of their dereliction in duty for not facing the reality of what this virus is doing to our, the, he the lives, the livelihood, and actually the life of our democracy. With yeah. Nothing like that. Okay. And number two, then. Now, what we learned some of this early this morning was what we... The number of unemployment claims, unfortunately, increased this week for the first time in 15 weeks. And Republicans are fighting with themselves over how much to cut unemployment benefits. They're totally disorganized. They're disconnected from the reality Americans are confronting. Every day, Republicans fight among themselves over how low to go and hardworking Americans continue to suffer. Can negotiate the amount of money here in this room? No. But let's, let's see what... Seriously, Leader McConnell has made corporate immunity the centerpiece of the Republican response. Once again, the Republican Senate is far more comfortable providing relief to big corporations than relief to workers and families. Higher wages. I mean, do you have any... We like the proposal we have. It's kept millions of people out of poverty. They're so divided, and there's no leadership from the president. At the same time that they know the president has no leadership, they're afraid to buck him on anything. And he doesn't know how to solve this problem, as we have seen. So much of what has happened, so much of the illness, and so much of the deaths, and so much of the economic uh, hardship and health hardship is because this administration has a no direction, no plan, no straight line of attack. That $600 is, is the number that you were going to be sticking with. Has that changed at all in the week now that... Having the HEROES Act was a gift to them as a strategic plan for testing, tracing, treating, isolation. Of course, mask wearing, sanitation. So the other day when the president embraced mask, what he was doing was admitting, admitting how wrong he was for months. And in that period of time, many more people died. We don't know what it is. We yeah. hear different things all the time from different people. So they're there to sabotage working families. That's why I say, what did working families ever do to the Republicans and the president that they're out to get them, A. B, they'll say, as they're saying, well, we're not giving money to state and local because some of their, their governments are mismanaged. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the receipts that they have for paying for a, a, a coronavirus, A, and the revenue lost because of the coronavirus all over the country.